Yeah, I know what you think, and you're right, Battlefield 2042 isn't the best Battlefield game, obviously. But nevertheless, I want to make this video because Battlefield 2042 could be awesome. I personally think this game has a lot of potential, maybe the highest potential in this entire franchise. To be honest, I was really looking forward to this 2042. After Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 when this game was revealed, I was really excited. A modern setting in a few years ahead of today, bigger battles up to 128 players and great maps all around the world in every environment. I instantly saw the great potential, but I was also worried because I saw the releases of the former games like Battlefield 4 and 5, so I tried not to be too hyped to not get disappointed in the end. I played the beta and don't get me wrong, it was fun, I enjoyed it, but it kinda didn't catch me, you know? I didn't have this feeling. I felt like, hmm, a stereotype shooter, but what now? What comes next? It only was one map and a handful of weapons, but it was just a beta and I was sure the developers didn't want to put all of the content into this version. But in the same moment, I was a little bit worried about, you know, how much content will be in the full game, because the beta was only one month before the actual release. And it's kinda funny that it had less problems than the finished game. But I don't wanna talk too much about the release problems, I think everyone has heard about it, it was just the worst release in this whole franchise. The time has passed and after one and a half year, Battlefield 2042 kinda evolved into a much better game. We finally have some content, they added good maps and there are less bugs and glitches. I don't know why, but when I think about it, then I have this picture in my mind of the primal Battlefield 2042 crawling from the water onto a beach and starts to adapt. It is the same as usual. The release was catastrophic and after some years it is a solid game. But Battlefield 2042 clearly needed more development time and some creative ideas. You know, for me it is just a standard FPS game, but there is nothing really special about it. And that's where the potential comes in. If the developers would have made some different decisions, then this game would be rated M without a doubt. Because it is set in the near future, there aren't that many limitations in modern guns or equipment. I've already said it in two other videos and they've already done it with some guns, but they can add next to the new fictional weapons, the next evolution line of today's rifles. The M5A3 or the AK24 I believe is the name, for example, are already in the game. Instead of just adding the normal guns from Portal into All Out Warfare, it would be a great attention to detail if they would change the looks from them and make it a little bit futuristic. It is just a small change, but it would be a nice detail, wouldn't it? Battlefield 2042 is set in the near future. The developers designed the maps and the whole surroundings in general based on the climate change in the real world. For those who aren't familiar with this topic, here are a very short explanation. The climate gets hotter, the weather gets more extreme, the Antarctica for example will melt away, the sea level will rise, because the ice which has kept the cold temperature on earth is gone now, it gets hotter and hotter. Many animals won't be able to adapt to the new environment and in the end there will be a mass extinction. No doubt, this is one of the biggest threats in the near future, but Battlefield 2042 could use this whole topic even more, not just some weather effects. For example, a big part of the Netherlands will go underwater. The developers could add some kind of background story that one faction has built a big dike to protect some kind of research centers or something like that, and the other faction attacks this dike, destroys it, the battle begins, and during this fight, some areas on the map will be covered with water. So you can compare it a little bit like the map Flood Zone from Battlefield 4. All over the world, the environment will change. The developers don't need to create those scenarios. They can just pick an area and find the information how this region will be affected. Most of the maps in Battlefield 2042 are okay, but nothing special. Just not really memorable. But there are so much hidden possibilities. As I already said, so much potential. They also can make some remakes like the weapon topic from earlier and just adapt them. I'm sure nobody would complain. The map itself, so the layout and stuff like that are already there. They just need to change the optical stuff. Also with those new maps, the developers could hide some kind of message in this game, like how the world could look like in the future and show the threats and problems of the climate change in the real world. So these are just some small ideas of how I thought about the maps in Battlefield 2042 and I'm really interested in what you think about that and if you have some ideas of cool maps yourself. So feel free to write a comment about your ideas. You know, I love remembering the time of my childhood and while growing up. 
I'm playing video games for so long I don't even remember my very first game I've played. My connection with nostalgic video games is very strong. And because there are many people out there who feel the same way, EA and DICE wanted to bring back this feeling. With Battlefield Portal, they introduced another game mode for Battlefield 2042. I've already made an entire video about Portal, so if you wanna know more, then check it out. But I'm going to explain it shortly. Battlefield Portal is a game mode where you're able to play not only 2042, but also Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3. All of these games can get mixed up, so you can technically play with the Bad Company 2 soldiers against the 1942 enemies on the Battlefield 3 map. Better settings can make this whole thing more interesting and very exciting. This whole idea itself sounds very interesting. And when they published the reveal trailer, I would lie if I would say that I was not excited. I mean, fan favorite games in the latest offspring? Can this game become even better? To be fair, they didn't add the whole games, because obviously Battlefield 2042 would take way too much free space on my console. But they added some memorable maps, guns and gadgets. But in my opinion, it was enough at release. And now, one and a half years later, we are sitting here with the same maps, the same guns, new content? Well, no. In my opinion, Battlefield Portal is a good idea and I wouldn't change anything about it, except of new content. I'm not asking for every map of every game, but maybe one map from every game with each season. I have honestly no idea of how it works to adapt stuff of older games to a new game on new consoles, and I apologize if that is too much. But I should have added anything to Portal. Today, only two or three servers are still active with some players, but as far as I've seen, only in the evening. Instead, they've started to add some guns from Portal to All Out Warfare, and as I said already earlier, it would be a nice attention to detail if they would kind of adapt them to the near future. They don't have to change much, the stats can be the same as they were, but to see the guns evolving would be a pretty cool feature. The third and the last game mode Hazard Zone, well, I am honest with you, I've never played it in my life, I don't have much friends that play Battlefield 2042 and I've heard that with random guys it is nearly impossible to win or to have fun so I've never touched it. This game mode is about being in a squad and try to secure some kind of data cards and get evacuated. Then get in-game money, buy new guns and so on, so a similar system to Counter-Strike. I don't know if people still play it and I'm not sure if Battlefield 2042 needed this co-op mode at all. I mean, it is quite cool to play with your squad, work together and get the win in the end. But on the other hand, I feel like it is wasted potential, money and time, which the developers could have put into the main game. But as I said, I've never played it myself, I don't really know what I would change since this game doesn't have a campaign though instead of Hazard Zone, they maybe should have added some kind of co-op missions, like for example in some Call of Duty games, that would be pretty dope. But because most of the players buy Battlefield games because of the multiplayer, they could have kept off this game mode. Being a good game in these days isn't easy, especially in the Battlefield franchise. With Battlefield 1 for example, DICE created a new milestone. The jump from its predecessor was insane, the graphics looked awesome, the sound design of the weapons, vehicles and the surroundings was brilliant and the music is even today phenomenal. At release, this game had not that much problems, I just enjoyed it since the beta. If you take a look at Battlefield 1, then you can find the key to a successful Battlefield game. And the secret behind all of it is love. We don't need bigger battles with twice the players for example, we just need passion. The passion for creating great video games. The passion for creating a great gaming experience. All of that combined will form a good game. But the big problem of Battlefield 2042 was not the sound design or the music, no, the big issue was its condition. The game was just unfinished. I've never seen so many bugs or glitches in one game. The amount of content was also pretty low. And you also couldn't play with some of that stuff because then the chances were pretty high that the whole server crashed. This game was simply unplayable. I can remember some other games like Battlefield 5 or Star Wars Battlefront 2 which were not good at release but DICE managed to repair those games so they became better. I hope Battlefield 2042 will have the same destiny but to be honest, I'm starting to get bored of the same process over and over again. If I buy a game then I don't wanna wait several years for them to get finished. I want the game to be finished when I buy it. I'm really getting upset when I think about this topic and I wonder how far should this movement go. So guys, that's it for the video. I hope you understand now what kind of potential in Battlefield 2042 was and in some aspects still is, but time will tell what this game becomes. If you have some ideas of how to make this game better, write a comment or tell me your opinion. 
Also, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more and want to support me. It is free of charge and really helps me out, so feel free to do so. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, have a good day, I'm out, goodbye.